Hey everyone, this is Scott from Scratch Girl Podcast. Welcome to another edition of Rewatching Happy Season 1. Today I'm talking about Episode 3, When Christmas Was Christmas. So I'm just going to be talking about my general thoughts. I just finished rewatching this episode, and this one was a fun one because we had a bunch of flashbacks, a little bit of insight in this episode into what made Nick Sachs into the character he is today. What makes him the man he is today, which was quite a traumatic Christmas past, which... Ugh. When I first saw that and even rewatch it, I'm just like, I forgot about the, forgot about the baby in the microwave. They cooked the baby. <laughs> ah! <laughs> just, yeah, that's that's all you can say really about that scene. So you can kind of, you get a, an insight into how he ended up this way. How, you know, how he has a kid he doesn't know about. And a little bit into that you know, little insight into his background like that. So I thought I did a really great job with that. I like the intercut of the different flashbacks while he's investigating this, trying to find this meth Santa guy uh, who has kidnapped Haley and these other kids. Uh, but yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I like that they have the character of Mary, who's Haley's mom, and no, wrong, wrong way. Mary's the detective lady. Haley's mom's name I can't remember. So Haley's mom, and I like that Haley's mom and Mary are working together to try and to try and find Haley. They're kind of learning a little bit more about each other because you know they they always haven't got along to this point, considering you know Mary was his her well Mary is Haley's mom's mistress, husband's miss. I definitely should have written her name now. Anyways, I like that those two are getting along or learning a little bit about each other while looking for Haley. Uh, but yeah, one of the some of the stuff I liked about this one is that Nick gets in another car accident in this episode, which I just really love that this guy just gets beaten to hell and just keeps going. Apparently he's just got enough drug and alcohol in his system to just let him keep going through all this pain. I just really enjoyed that part. Uh, and then we at the end, we get a Nick versus the bad guy Santa, the very bad Santa, I think is what is referred to in the description I read. Uh, but yeah, so the, the the Santa who has kidnapped the kids, he had convinced Haley to kind of give him some information about Nick and go in to find him, and he goes, and that Santa is, like, he's got something going on. I don't know if it's just the meth that gives you super strength, but he was tossing Nick around. Like, yeah, that Santa's a big guy, but he's not pick a dude up over his head and throw him 20 feet that's that's not possible so i really like that i like this aspect that this is kind of a hyper realistic um or hyper uh, not hyper realistic but a kind of a reality that doesn't follow our same you know the real life physics and rules it's got its own little it's heightened that was the word i was looking for heightened reality where it's you know stuff it's not a completely out there super strength, but he does have more exaggerated strength. But I really enjoyed that fight, especially since it's the first time we see Nick kind of outmatched at, up to this point. Uh, everyone else, he's just shot or done a pretty good job. Like he's taken on whole rooms of guys, and then him versus this one Santa guy, he gets his ass whooped. Uh, but yeah, so I just kind of enjoyed that aspect to it, but. I thought it also introduced this interesting aspect of like, what's going on with this Santa dude? I know he's smoking meth. Is he doing some PCP too? Is that, is that how he's so strong? I don't know how any of these drugs work. I just, I'm just trying to justify how this guy, how this Santa guy can pick up like a 200 plus pound dude and just throw him 20 feet. That's, that's, that's some strength stuff. But anyways, the last thing I had written down was just that at the very end of this episode, we see that this, the very bad Santa can actually see happy which i talked about in the last video a little bit about how it seems that there's some connection between doing drugs and being able to see these imaginary friends and i don't know if they're trying to imply something there but that just seems to be the trend that's going on in this universe so far but which is kind of interesting there's some kind of way i could justify and reason that in my head so i'm okay with it but i thought that was an interesting bit especially since it kind of adds to the story a little bit um throughout the season i don't want to spoil that too much but in the re but i'm rewatching it so i've already seen it once but yeah it does pl play a little bit more into later episodes but yeah that's all my thoughts about this episode of happy season of happy season one be sure to let me know in the comments below what you thought of this episode thanks again for joining me today and have a good one